Hey guys and here we are back with another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to share with you my complete experience so far with this smart video doorbell from iMVision I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out prices specifications and whatnot if you haven't watched the unboxing experience which probably you haven't I have published it in my Portuguese video so I will leave a link right over here I got it for you. <laughs> And although it's in Portuguese and probably won't understand everything, but I believe that you will enjoy the video, so just check it out and see it for yourself. Now, that being said, what we are going to talk about on this particular video is the installation, then the way that it functions, and finally, limitations and the application itself. So in terms of the installation is pretty straightforward and easy, but this will depend on our own situation. If you have just a plain wall where you want to place a wireless system, then pretty straightforward, just two screws, put it in and that is it. And then placing the chime anywhere inside the house and that is it. Basically, that is it. Easy as this. One thing that you might be concerned is the battery, but in terms of battery, what I will do is in a couple of weeks, three or four weeks, I will post on the first comment a screenshot of how much battery I've wasted on two or three weeks, and then you will do the math. But in my testings, it behaves really well. It discharges so low that I needed to discharge it via movement detection, and I used it everywhere that I was, so it was always detecting, detecting, and I could deplete it up to 50 something percent but really intensive in one week and some and honestly my doorbell doesn't ring that much so i believe that it will stay alive without the need to charge my old intercom had a really big box so in my particular case the best idea that i had so far was to cut a aluminium sheet and then fold it do the drills to put it back on where I had my old intercom. I did save the protection plate from the intercom that I had because I thought that it would look better than removing it. And then after cutting the sheet and screwing it, I did assembly the video doorbell to that sheet. I did a hole so that I could pass the wires and basically that is it. So those wires will be fed by a power adapter of 12 volts. I will try to leave a link down below, but have in mind that you will need a 12 volt 1.2 amp specifications are on the manual. So just have that in mind. And if you want to connect USB to micro USB, you can, but in my particular case, it's not elegant unless, unless you want to use it totally wireless and you want to use a small solar panel like I do I have one here on my backyard to feed in a security camera you can do the same with this one right over here. and basically the installation is very very easy but depending on the case scenario of each one of us now in terms of the way that it works uh, it's really easy as well but has some really interesting features first of all someone rings the doorbell Sometimes it takes a little bit longer and probably because I brought it uh, from upstairs to here so it needs to pair again, but... So this is what happens when we press the button. And once it presses, we have a few choices. First of all, we can open the door and say, hi, get in or whatever. On our mobile phone, I can answer immediately and then talk to the person that it's there live. Consegues me ver? E consegues ouvir bem? Sim. Mas eu não te consigo ver. O que é que eu estou a fazer? Uh, olá. Olá, o que estou a fazer, Deus? Estás a, estás a dizer olá. E assim é o quê? This is the image and audio quality that we are going to get on the mobile phone. And it's really clean, so just a bit the noise that might be on the hand of it. And once again, setting up the image and audio quality, but this time with the phone from the horizontal, so that we can check out a little bit better the image quality that we can get, which in my opinion is really nice. But this is one of the options. I can just answer and say, for example, hey, leave the box there because I'm five minutes away. I will be right there to pick it up. So just leave it and go and that's it. But that is one really interesting feature, which is to pre-record a message. And then I don't need to answer. I just need to press that yellow button. Let you know that I'm already almost at home, so just leave the packet. 
and choose the message that I want to say and BAM! The person that is there will listen to the message that I did record and this is one of my favorite features right over here. The only limitation is that we only can record messages up to 10 seconds. So in terms of functionality, this is it, works really nice, the experience that I had. Now limitations that we might have. First limitation that we will find is between the video doorbell and the shine uh, it will transmit or communicate via rf and on my tests what i could do was 15 meters with two walls between them one wall which is the outdoor wall and then inside the house another wall 15 meters more than 15 meters they would lose and would not be able to contact now in my particular case besides the walls I did add one millimeter of aluminium sheet and that will block even more the signal. I've got another part of the house which is nearest to the wall and is about 10 meters away like this on a diagonal and most of the times I would say 90 to 95 percent of the times it will communicate but not always so this will be one of the limitations that we will have i have to wonder if the metal sheet was the best scenario for me i'm pondering probably i will replace it with acrylic or something like that now the other limitation that we might have is the wi-fi because the connection between the uh, smart doorbell and the shine is via rf but to communicate with our wireless it needs to connect via wi-fi and this will depend on where you have your router in my particular case i don't use my router for anything just to receive the internet signal i use power line adapters in this particular case the volo which i have reviewed quite a few on the channel so if you search for power line on the channel you'll find a lot of information a lot of tests that i've done with more than one circuit breaker I want to bore you too much but there will be a lot of info and power line basically will give us the freedom to put it anywhere that we want so i've got a nice signal overall and i can get a good experience so just have this in mind you will need a good and strong wi-fi signal and you will also need a 15 meter more or less if you only have two walls or less if you have another thing blocking like i do Video quality and audio quality, actually, it did surprise me. So if you haven't watched any images so far, I'll put something right over there. During the day and also during the night was very easy to recognize myself or anyone that was there. Now, regarding the app, which is right over here on the left or on the right, and you will see this is the app. Really simple, but easy to work. I can hide uh, like this or I can have bigger icons. I can add more smart devices because iVision has more devices. There will be a link down below so that you guys can check it out. And what I've got right now is if I open right over here, it will give me the feed. And of course I brought it uh, down here so that I could show you a few things. But as you can see, it's quite um, fast and it says that the network is something blah, 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 because the power line that it's capturing is on the other floor and a little bit down uh, that way right over there but the options that i've got first of all it shows me the signal wi-fi at 50 percent which is not very good battery is uh, full and then i've got live i've got history so if i go right over here it will show me one of the events where i was this morning doing something not really sure what i was doing at that moment but it will show me moments if i have uh, movement detection which i did disable a couple of days ago i can also go here to the calendar and just choose if i have on this day some events right over here it was a fellow from dhl which made a delivery and so on and so forth so let's go back right over here and if i go to play on this on this button it will show me um, two situations if i press a button it will say that you have a visitor so it will record a screenshot of the moment when the button is pressed and if it is on dete movement detection if you have it activated like here for example motion detection it will record the screen and and it will save a screenshot regardless of saving as well a video file if you have uh, SD card inserted and configured for that. So this is great. And as you can see, I've got several days right over here. Uh, this was two nights ago, if I'm not mistaken. The, this was uh, my test. I took it everywhere so that I could uh, use it and abuse it in terms of movement, in terms of detection, so that I could see if I could deplete the battery. And it's really, really difficult. So my hope is that the battery will last a long time. Now, besides this, what I can do as well is I can go right over here and if i want to talk right now to the person which is there which 
by any reason did not touch i can just press the intercom and i can talk i can take a screenshot and save it to my phone at this moment i just took one i can record and if i press the record button as you can see right over here it's recording and it will record directly to my phone as well it will not record to the card so i can just press stop and it will save on my phone and basically this is it i've got album with some images and video clips that i did right over here but i also have them saved on my phone so basically this is what we have uh, we also have the cloud which in my case it's not activated you can check it out you can use for free for seven days if not, I'm not mistaken and that is it now if we go to settings i've got here the device name receive alert notifications if i want to receive in my particular case yes because that's one of the great values if i'm not home i can answer and just tell anyone hey i'm just arriving just leave the package there and that will be great then i've got the device share which i can share with anyone else in the family which has a phone and the application installed as i was saying device information which show us the network name the signal and so on and so forth we also have the installation guide which is a manual but you also have the manual the basic function will give a speaker volume the voice message which are those messages that we can leave and when someone rings we can just press the button and bam we can say i don't know uh, if we are having a party and we are waiting for people and we are at the swimming pool or something like that we can just say hey get in the uh, a door or b door or c door is open just get in and come and have a drink with us something like that i don't know this will depend on the situation but it's great to have this option and then we have the night vision mode which actually in my opinion it really looks nice in terms of video quality and of course looking at the video quality on the phone is different than looking at the video quality here on the full screen a 1080 full screen which i really doubt that anyone will use it like that will show us a picture probably with low resolution but in terms of using it with a phone which is where we're going to use every day i actually find that the image quality and audio quality really good actually in terms of audio quality even with really wind not bad at all i also have the power management right over here we are at 100 percent so when it discharges i will leave on a comment down below how much it did discharge for one week or two weeks or something like that then we have the motion detection which we can activate or deactivate at this moment is deactivated to save battery and i think that motion detection we don't really need it then we have the recording uh, options right over here i've got one minute recording if there's any action it will record one full minutes capacity is just a small 8 gig card remaining 4.6 and if it finishes it will record on the top of the older images recorded and then we have the cloud storage service which i haven't activated we have seven days to try it and finally the device version we have firmware updates when necessary and delete the device overall so far the experience has been really nice for a budget device such as this one with these two limitations which i believe that every device will have which is the wi-fi and also the distance between the chime and the video doorbell that being said hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one